If you are interested in selling and improving your sales skills, especially if you are looking for information on YouTube, chances are you know who Brian Tracy, Jordan Belfort and Dan Lok are. I don't know about you, but when I'm interested in something, I'm in the habit of looking for someone who already has knowledge or skill that I would like to get and of course is willing to share it. In other words, I am looking for people who I can follow and learn from. I know that not only for me choosing the right mentor is crucial. In this video, my personal view, who says advice are more valuable and useful and who is a better salesperson. Brian Tracy, Jordan Bedford, Dan Locke. Are there great sales experts and sales professionals or just excellent marketers who know how to sell their product to the masses? Nowadays, we are dealing with gurus in virtually every field. Social media makes that everyone who is popular and has high name recognition automatically becomes an expert and authority. Therefore, we should choose the content and people we follow even more carefully because whether we like it or not, what we watch, hear and read has a huge impact on us and who we become. Brian Tracy, Jordan Belfort and Dan Locke have been involved in consulting for a relatively long time. Maybe except Brian Tracy because in his case term relatively long is like an insult. Brian is a real veteran a few decades on the market. He's a real phenomenon and that in my opinion cannot be ignored. If you have been on the market for so long people like you and respect you you need to know what you are talking about and in that field Brian Tracy outclassed the others. But it's only one factor so let's take a look at their achievements and what they teach. John Belfort and his strike line system personally I think it's one of the best systems that explains sales process from opening to closing. Jordan does it simply and at the same time goes a little deeper into details than others. He talks a lot about importance of tonality and pay attention to building your own emotional state. As I myself have been involved in sales for many years, I'm sure that he knows what Sonic is about. Now, Dan Love. His YouTube videos are the most impressive. Very well edited, professionally shot. Dan looks like a star. In general, the content contains reliable information. Maybe with some exceptions like, for example, his live sales call. <laughs> video about closing a sale and dealing with a price objection where I cannot believe its realness and effectiveness. But let's talk about experience of all these gentlemen because it is definitely more important to me. Jerome Burford, thanks to the movie The Wolf of Wall Street where Leonardo DiCaprio played the main role, has a huge social proof. Generally, very interesting biography. But would Jordan's clients in his prime be willing to recommend his services? Sound fair enough? Or maybe they feel the buyer remorse to this day. I don't know, but who doesn't make mistakes? When it comes to sales skills, Jordan for sure know how to sell stocks. Was he involved later in any other business and sales activities other than selling his courses and book promotions? I don't know that either if he's a born salesman as he says about himself. Yes, I believe it. As for Dan Locke, I have the biggest problem because apart from what he says that he was a copywriter, I have no idea what he was doing before or later and what is his sales experience. But looking at what he has built in terms of promoting his own brand, selling books and courses, he definitely know how to make money and that's a huge skill. Many would like to do that, he did it. Brand Tracy. Brian worked as a salesman many years ago and later, as he says himself, he started interviewing people who have achieved success in business and sales and began to pass this knowledge on in his books and audio courses. Personally, for me, 
Selling is to a large extent building long-term relationships with my clients. Integrity and trust built over the years are virtues that in many industries stand out above all the others. That's why Brian Tracy's sales advice, although not particularly new and innovative, are very valuable and effective. Because applied over a long period of time certainly lead to success. What cannot be said about sales tips and sales techniques focus mainly on building receptive state in the client's mind, just to take advantage of it and close the sale. Don't get me wrong, you should know these techniques and know how to use them when you need to. But in my opinion, at the end of the day, that's not the point. This is largely why, despite the Jordan Belfort's massive social proof, Dan Locke's colorful videos and Rex Rich's success story, I don't buy it. Because what I experience, what matters the most in sales and in the real world in the long run is client and his satisfaction. To sum up, when talking about sex in sales, we often deal with people who lack experience and who confuse financial success and marketing with sales skills. In the case of Brian Tracy, Jordan Belfort, Dan Lok, I'm not talking about them coincidentally. Each of them has a slightly different approach to selling and I believe you can get something for yourself from each of them. Some kind of a mix of useful sales advice, life's wisdom and marketing for masses. That what especially nowadays is very important. But seriously, despite some issues that may be questionable, these are certainly charismatic personalities who have an idea for themselves, who know how to sell it and how to build strong personal brand and that undoubtedly requires skills and knowledge. Coming back to the main question, who is the best salesperson or rather whose sales advice are the most useful and helpful? Personally, I see it like this. My name is Pablo, I built a network of contact and sales from scratch several times in my career on the European market for companies operating in the industrial sector. If you are looking for real information and sales advice, please subscribe and see you soon.